Welcome back everybody. We are now going to shift focus and learn the basics of a new programming language, new to us, called MATLAB. And MATLAB is a commercial software, which means you have to pay for it. And it has, uh, it's, it's a very specific language, very specific to engineering. It, what it does, it does very well, and that is crunching numbers in vectors and matrices. It crunches numbers very quickly and very efficiently, very simply. And because it crunches numbers so well, it's used in engineering uh, quite a bit. But uh, it does not do some things very well, like it does not handle string data types very well. So it's not really a general purpose programming language like Python is. Anyway, if you go to MathWorks.com, Math MathWorks is the company that makes MATLAB. You can come to Products, and you can go to License Types, Student Use, and then down here MATLAB and Simulink Student Suite you can click buy now and this is the main you know shopping window and it comes what what what's defaulted here is this ninety nine dollar version the ninety nine dollar version you can read it here it comes with the bare bones MATLAB which you need for our course it comes with all these add-ons which could be useful to you especially if you are an electrical engineering student or a mechanical engineering student It comes with Simulink and then all these different toolboxes like the digital signal processing, curve fitting toolbox, uh, machine learning toolbox, all this stuff is very useful. Controls, very useful. Um, but however, for our course, for Engineering 120 Programming for Engineers, all you need is the basic bare bones MATLAB. So even though many students buy this for $99, and I do recommend it for $99, you can uncheck that and you can you can purchase the forty nine dollar version like that you just check that add that to, to your cart and check out and then they will give you MathWorks that is will give you a license key and allow you to download their product MATLAB now if you don't want to pay for it but you, if you still want it on your machine you have a cloud-based alternative which is called Octave Octave, so you can go to octave-online.net, and here's the welcome. Octave is exactly this, the open source alternative to MATLAB. So it's free, and it's open source. and But you need an internet connection, obviously, because this is on the cloud. And on Octave, you can see here's the, uh, the command line down here, right, command. And there's the variable explorer over here, and here's, uh, here's the uh, console. Now, uh, just like it says, if you want to make scripts or files, program files, then you need to click on this, and you, you actually need to create an account to do that, to be able to, to write a program. So you will need to, to do that if you're going to use Octave. You do need to write programs, and so you will need to create an account. An account in Octave is free. Now, an Octave is open source, uh, but you know it can get a little bit buggy. Whereas MATLAB, MATLAB since it's commercial software, uh, it's very good. It's, it, it doesn't have any bugs, and it's very streamlined. And again, I do recommend that you purchase at least the $49 version for yourself. But we do need that for this course. So you'll want to uh, either download it here or be prepared to have a good internet connection and create a, uh, an account at octave dash online.net to use the cloud-based open source version of MATLAB. Thank you.